When a group of friends goes camping in the woods, see from the killer's perspective how your favorite slashers actually happen. Pros. The concept for In a Violent Nature is fantastic. There probably is something similar to this, but I just can't think of it right now. But the idea of an almost POV style real time movie about like a Friday the 13th sl style slasher is really, really cool. If you want atmosphere, this is it. It's described as an ambient slasher, and I think that fits In a Violent Nature perfectly. It's ASMR for the woods, pretty much. You hear the birds, you hear the trees rustling, you hear footsteps crunching on twigs and leaves. As someone who's been camping many, many times, I could pretty much just close my eyes and physically feel the forest air. That's how crazy the sound is here. And on top of that, it is so beautiful to look at. Cons. We're seeing the slasher walk to and from killing off this group of friends. It's a lot of walking. Like, like literally half the movie is walking. I saw someone describe this as doing a murder run on Skyrim, and that pretty much hits the nail on the head. I cannot get over how much walking there is, and all of it is, it's so slow. For a slasher, this is surprisingly lacking kills. Like, it is, but it's also not, like, I, I don't know how to describe the feeling that this is. Like we, we get really memorable ones. Um, there's one in particular that's probably the best kill in the movie, but all the rest, I had to really like search my brain to remember what they were. The gore is great and the sounds of all the blood and just visceral mush being pounded on by logging tools is, is really good, but I feel like there could have been more somehow. I don't know if this was done on purpose because we're supposed to be viewing from the killer's perspective, but I really wanted to hear what the characters were saying and be more into what conversations they were having with each other. You can hear most of it, but some phrases that may or may not have been important to the story were drowned out because they were far, they're too far away or the trees were too loud. I mean, maybe it wasn't important at all what they were saying, but I wanted to be nosy and listen in. In a Violent Nature is already dividing fans. Not as much as Skinnamarink did, but in that same sort of vein. It's a movie where you'll kind of like it or kind of not like it. Not so much a love or hate situation. It's kind of like or kind of don't like. I'm on the side of liking it. You'll see that even though I had more cons and pros, I didn't find the movie all that bad in the end. I'm glad I got to experience it in the theater because that's what it really needs, a big screen and big speakers to really grasp all of the ambient sounds and landscapes. But also if I didn't see it in the theater, I would definitely have been looking at my phone a lot. So go see it, but know that it's probably not for everyone.